Hello, my name is Ali Liddell. I am the past president of the West Tennessee School Band and Orchestra Association, as well as the TMEA Jazz Policy Chair. And today I'm going to uh, try to show you exactly how to navigate this submittable platform for our All-State Jazz auditions this year. First thing you'll need to do is to log on to W. TSBOA.submittable.com slash login. Uh, once you get there, uh, if you have not created an account, you can do this um, from here. Sign up right here. But uh, if you've already created an account, you'll log in with your account credentials. You obviously, click sign in. And when you get in, it'll take you to this page. These are all of the students uh, submissions that you are to judge okay when you do this um, you'll notice that for example I have this set up as if I was a saxophone judge you'll have this and you'll see that there is altos and tenors and altos then bear so it's they're all kind of mixed up and it, obviously you want to judge apples against apples and oranges against oranges so what's the first step, especially if you are if you're a trumpet judge, you won't need to do this step at all um, because only thing you'll have is trumpets if you're trump, but everything everyone else will have to do this sort. So what you'll do is scroll up to where it says show filters, click there, and then you'll see where it says project. You'll click down here and for a saxophone, it falls under the project of winds, bass, piano, guitar. You'll click that checkbox, and you'll double check it says TMEA Out State right there. Uh, then label. Let's say the first group I want to judge are the alto saxes. So I scroll down and get to alto alto sax and click there. Click done, and then this button that says filter results. Now you'll double check it project. This is the pro correct project, you know, and also the label. You're looking for alto saxophones only. So what you'll do is you'll go to your first student and you'll click the little four-digit number, which will be zero, zero something. Um, that's the, the number generated by Submittable um, as the identifier of the uh, auditionee. You'll click that, and it'll take you to this screen. Now notice on this screen it'll have the instrument and you can double check to make sure you only have you know what instrument you're judging. It'll have uh, three videos. Um, for obviously for drum set it'll have two videos but everybody else will have three. So you'll see your prepared music, improv for F blues and F5 for uh, B flat rhythm changes. So you'll click complete review and you'll have the little sections to complete. So it's only two little scoring sections where it says, please rate the performance prepared A2s from 1 to 60, with 60 being the highest. So you'll scroll down and grade them after you watch the review. And a good thing is you can pause, you can rewind the reviews as many times or whatever if you want to hear something different. However, um, and also uh, rate the improv right there. So you notice that prepared is 1 through 60, improv is 1 through 40. The other thing is where it says flag this submission for further review. So I'll explain what this means. So if you have a student whose video, for some reason, it doesn't play, um, that has happened in using this platform before, or they're using the wrong backing track for improv, it's the student isn't visible in the recording, um, it's the wrong video uploaded. Uh, for example, they, the director may have uploaded uh, someone else's video instead of when you, you're grading alto sax and you see someone playing a violin, that's a problem. Um, students should not be wearing anything that identifies their school or their person. So if they see like a um, um, uh, North High School band t-shirt or letterman jacket or something like that, that's that's something to flag. A metronome or anything else you deem suspicious in the video, you will click check. So any of these categories apply. Something seems suspicious, out of place, wrong, um, um, the student isn't visible in the recording, you need to put uh, click yes. Otherwise, you'll click no. And this is like the last thing you'll do 
when submitting. Now, it doesn't matter if whatever the situation here that you need to flag, you will still grade the video, score the video regardless, uh, or the, the submission, not the video. And then right here, if you flag the submission, please explain below, meaning what was the reason you flagged it, uh, your click right here. And um, so it, whatever it is, uh, Mr. Martin, he will check what you flagged and he will communicate with you and uh, de de determine if it needs to be something needs to be disqualified or something needs to be looked at or not. But he'll make that determination. You just If you see something, um, just click yes if it's something that doesn't look right to you click yes if it, everything looks fine click no all right and then you'll grade it right here with the little uh kick down menu now one thing to remember once you're done with this student and you have graded him or her in its in, in their entirety you will click submit review very important that once you click submit review you cannot go back and um change your your grade uh, if for some reason you've scored a student uh, incorrectly for some reason, um, that's something you need to talk, talk to Mr. Martin, and he'll be able to. He he, he should be able to uh, make that adjustment or or uh, work with you on that. But when you once you submit this submit review, that review is done. You cannot go back. So I'm let's say I've submitted review. I have looked at the videos. Um, all, all of the videos in the entirety, I've graded it. So now I want to go to the next student. You'll click this and it'll go to student two. Same thing. Click the video, um, and complete review. Okay. You also could go back to list and go to that next video here. Either way, it's the same thing. Uh, once you're done, you will see, uh, uh, your score will populate right here in a little your, your, it will populate right here um, so once you're done with the with the this instrument now let's say I'm finished with all my alto sax reviews and now I want to go and do tenor saxes so it's the same process I want to clear my filters then I want to go do the same process again so I go to uh, this thing scrolls really fast for some reason. <laughs> and you'll click this same button here. Uh, it says winds, bass, piano, guitar. Then I want to say I want to do tenor sax. So I scroll down, find tenor sax. Click that. Click done. Filter results. And as I see, it has all my tenor sax. And it's still the same project. Make sure that you this project is correct because uh, you won't have any students to show up so you'll do that uh, and then they'll have all the tennis sack students that are audition auditioning um, it's uh, this is pretty straightforward not as difficult or cumbersome for uh, saxophone or trombone because there's only two kinds of instruments for trombones obviously trombone and bass trombone that are auditioning however if you're a rhythm section judge a little more a little more to it so the rhythm section judge will have like everyone. So what you need to do is when you see filter, and um, if you're doing um, drums and auxiliary, for example, if I'm doing auxiliary percussion, all I would need to do is click this box here for auxiliary percussion because that's the only students that will be auditioning in that particular project. If I'm doing drum set, I'll click just that for drum set, and only the, drum, the drummers will, will show up. Now, for the uh, bass, piano, um, guitar, I'll click this, and then I have to go through the same process that I described before with saxophones. I just scroll down to find auxiliary percussion and scroll down to find drum set. I want to mind you, uh, there we have a category for bass and a category for double bass. Um, make sure you're clicking bass, obviously, um, that this, is, this was used for... Uh, the band and orchestra auditions as well so we have some separate categories there so make sure you click that and then they'll, they'll show up so uh, and, and, and and you just continue to grade till you get them all if you have any questions please contact Mr. Martin um, and thank you so much for agreeing to judge our all state auditions thank you